Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play the Blackwell Deception. When we left off last time, we were able to help Jamie move on and find some peace. Hooray! We also were able to learn from her concretely that Gavin is definitely to do with her death. We take the information to Lisa Tens and she's still trying desperately to hold on to the idea that it's all just coincidence because she doesn't want to admit being responsible for, in part, for at least three people dying. So now it's off to solve the issue of Tiffany. And I have a feeling once we have that confirmed, we can go to Lisa and say, Hey, listen, there's there's no coincidences here. Pony up some information. Okay, so... Joey's gotta go in. There's gotta be something Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Yep. Regarding a connection... The STP or the Rachel. So let's look at these papers again. From STP, your final payment... Don't harass our client further. Mm. What else have we got in here? Rachel and Tiff, we rock. I can only assume her name is Rachel. Mm, but this doesn't really give us anything else to go on. Maybe there's a dialogue option with her I'm missing. We can't Leads get to a here. back room. No good. Nope, we can't get in. It's the way out of here. And it's locked, so there's no getting Rosa in. Alright, Tiff. Hello again. What? I know you do not want to talk to me. Uh -oh. About this Gavin fella. I told you I don't know. So you say. No, I can't. You can't say? Why are you bothering me? Because I want to help you. Just leave me alone. Mm. About this. I told you. Okay. So no. You can't. Why are you just... Uh... So, tell me about yourself, Tiffany. Nice try, but I don't think so. <sighs> I don't think any of these are going to Could work. you tell me what STP stands for? Stop with the personal questions. It's my life. I made my choices. I'll deal with them. Just leave me alone. Have you She's ever heard of a professor Elaine named Appleton. Elaine Appleton? No. She's still a clue, though. That's interesting. Do you ever go to a nightclub? Why would I go to a place? And so is Munray's. I, these must be extraneous. Maybe not, but they don't seem related to Tiffany. Maybe when we help her move on, then they'll disappear. That's a cute picture there of you. Who's your friend? Stop with the personal questions. It's my life. Just leave. All right, we are getting nothing out of her. Mm. Well, see you. Yeah. All right, what else have we got around here? It's not really looking like anything. Well, on something. Not sure what. Bl not sure what. Eh, nothing. I don't think she'd appreciate. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. Let's look at the hallway some more. Keeping cozy. Sure. I like hanging out in building lobbies. Does wonders for my reputation. <laughs> All right, Rosa. Let's give you a shot. Locked. Yeah. Get in with a card. I'm not sure what that will accomplish. Nothing. I know, it's not like the credit card or whatever. We can't pick a lock with it. I've had it with this low-profile stuff. Although it's not the conversation starter I thought it would be. <laughs> Alright, what else have we got? The press pass? I'm not sure what that will... It's not sturdy enough to he attempt it? pretty much... Okay, okay. I don't think the notebook's gonna help here. No... It's a bunch of mailboxes. Tiffany's mailbox is on the bottom row. What about Rachel? Does she happen to be anywhere around They're here? They're all locked. They're um, all locked. Okay. Tiffany's name is written on her buzzer. She's in apartment two, right on the ground floor. No response. Buzz a different one. No response. Don't, that's obnoxious to do. Uh, 
And then this is just the note that gave us the key about the- or the clue about the Wi-Fi password. So maybe there's something somewhere else- there's gotta be something somewhere else, because none of this is quite doing it. Um... Anything new with Sam? No, we gotta meet him in the cafe, that's right. No way. I guess- I don't think it will help to call Appleton, but... Hello? Hi. Rose Angela. Hmm. Does the name- hmm. And she doesn't know us, DP, either. Do you know anyone- I'm afraid. Okay. That's enough of her. I should get- Sure. Jay Park. Hi, Rosangela. It's been ages since you came to the gallery. Oh, Josie! How are you? I just wanted to let you know that Claude Erden's The Dark Lady still hasn't been sold. I remember you were once interested in it. I can give you a good price if you still want it. Uh, you know, I almost kind of do, even though it's not a great memory. Um, I don't know. It'd be kind of a cool thing to have. Okay. Is Rachel related to I STP? Are... She's related to Tiffany. Rachel and Tiffany were in the same photograph together, so obviously they know each other. Tiffany had a letter from someone named STP. Hmm. Alright, there's probably something I need to maybe look up. No? Yeah, it was a long shot. Maybe Rachel was a relative or something. Uh, hmm. What else do we want to look for? STP gave us nothing. There must be hundreds of possibles yeah. that are going to help. What's Tiffany? Tiffany Walters. I'm blanking on her last name and I just typed it a minute ago. Studio obituary. Tiffany Ann Walters, 32, died of a cerebral hemorrhage on November 11th, 2010 in her Manhattan home. She is survived by her parents, who will be making funeral arrangements in their hometown of Madison, Wisconsin. Does that give us anything? No. Nothing for part gallery. Oh, I was, I thought that'd be kind of a nice touch. Okay, um, okay, I think I've got, well, hopefully something. Looking at mailboxes, I've been just clicking mailboxes, mailboxes. Ah, but there's a mailbox too. So, anything we can do Locked. there? It looks the same as all the others, but it's got it's something special. Okay, I've got a vague idea. Because there's an... I looked at the achievements. And one says use your um, business card in an unintended way. Or unintended purpose. So, something to do with this, perhaps? I've already put a card... But it glows in the dark, so maybe Joey can read it? Joey, have a look at this. Let's have a little talk. What? Oh, no. Let's... All right. Sure. Okay, Rosa, I need you to scoot over here. Thank you. It looks the same as all the others. Let's have a look-see. Oh, excellent. It totally worked. It worked. All right. Oh. Who knew that thing would be useful after <laughs> all? All right, what have we got here? I can just make out the return address. This letter is from someone named R. Abu. R. Abu. Okay. So let's... We could ask her, but maybe first we'll look it up. R. Abu. Hmm, too many results. Whoever R. Abu is, I won't find it this way. Hmm. Okay, let's Joey try to talk to her about R. Abu. Stay close to the door. After you. Hello again. What? So, Arabu? Could you tell me who Arabu is? Stop with the personal questions. Never. 
It's my life. I made my choices. I'll deal with them. Just leave me alone. Tiffany, it's very hard to help you. Wait, Arabu. Rachel Abu. Well, yeah. All right, Rosa. Okay. Joy. So then. Oh, actually, I should probably. I was gonna look it up, but no, I need to probably. Rachel Arabu. I think it's a pretty good bet that the R in R Abu stands for Rachel. So, let's see if we can find her. We could go back in and talk to Tiffany, but I think it's going to be another It's my life and my choices. Alphabet City Community Board. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to post and let you know that my new coffee house is open. It's called Cup of Clay, and we're over on 9th Street and Avenue A. Come swing by and say hi. Oh, my goodness. Well, well. Let's go. To the Cup of Clay. Is this Rachel? Hi again. Hi! Are you Rachel Abu? Yeah, that's me. Alright. Awkward subject. Especially considering we haven't even had the courtesy to buy some coffee from you. I wanted to talk to you about Tiffany Walters. Tiffany? What about her? You were friends, right? Sort of. Yeah. We were friends before... well, before she died. I'm looking into her death. Why? Wasn't it a brain aneurysm or something? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, okay, but I'm not sure what kind of help I can be. Well, let's just see what we can do. Uh, what do you know about... She'll probably... Okay, we'll go down the do list. Do you ever go up to the High Line? Sometimes. Why? Oh, no reason. You wouldn't know anybody named Gavin, would you? Funny. I think Tiffany did mention that name once or twice. But I don't remember the context. Uh. Sorry. So you and Tiffany were friends? A few years ago. We were both office temps, and when our jobs ended, we got close. I went on to start this place. She stayed on with the temp agency. She was trying to find her way, you know? Maybe she thought she found it. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh, she met some guy named Ken at one of her temp jobs. Then she stopped hanging out with me. Same old story. Ken, huh? I don't blame her. It happens. All right. Uh, what about this STP? Have you ever heard of STP? Nope. I don't think so. Sorry. Oh, I was hoping. I thought she'd know. Do you know anyone named Elaine Appleton? Probably not. Nope. Sorry. Munrays isn't really going to be significant here either. But do you know anything about a nightclub called Munrays? Nope. I don't think so. Sorry. So Ken, huh? What do you know about the guy Tiffany was with? Only that his name was Ken, and she met him while on one of her office temp jobs. Tiffany was kind of intense about him. She really fell head over heels. I couldn't tell if it was sweet or if it was scary. Hmm. Alright. So, according to Rachel, Tiffany met Ken while working on time. A temp assignment for a temp agency. Do you know where Tiffany was temping when she met Ken? I wouldn't know. She never told me. And those temp agencies bounce you around. What about the agency she worked for? We didn't work at the same agency, so I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, well... Thanks, anyway. You gave us something. Thanks. I'll have a good night. Alright, let's take a look at our notes here. So, is Ken related to STP? I can't see. Maybe the temp agency? STP could be a temp agency, I suppose. Only one way to find out. Give me a sec. Ah, look it up. Talking to me? No. Bingo. STP stands for Sterling Temp Placement. There we go. And here's the address. It's just south of Midtown. You enjoy that thing a little too much. It's so useful. Okay, so Sterling. Did she meet Ken through that? No connection that I... Alright, well we got something. So... Let's go to Sterling. Hi, are you busy? Hmm? Sorry, we're not taking new applicants right now. And I'm even not if an I were, applicant. It's several hours past closing time. I'm not looking for a job. Sorry. I was hoping to ask you some questions. Will this take long? It depends on you. <laughs> Fine. What do you want? Well, your door wasn't locked. You're open kind of late. Like I said, we're not open. Just because I'm not seeing a client doesn't mean there isn't work to do. 
okay, but the door was unlocked. I was able to get in here. Okay, anyhow. We'll, we'll irritate him by asking unrelated questions. Do you ever go up to the High Line? I don't. No time. And he's thinking, why are you asking me this? Do you know anyone named Gavin? No, I don't. <laughs> so, what can you tell me about this place? If you Welcome want to know more, Tiffany. come back during business hours. Do you know anyone named Elaine Appleton? No, I don't. Do you know anything about a nightclub called Munray's? No, I don't. Do you know anyone named Ken? I think Tiffany was involved with him. I can't tell you anything about that. That's confidential information. It's confidential? So something happened, but you can't tell me about it. I said nothing of the sort. You certainly implied it. Okay, tell me about Tiffany. I wanted to talk to you about Tiffany Walters. She used to work for this agency. Yes, I remember her. I need to know what company you placed her in. That, I'm afraid, is confidential. Are you aware that Tiffany is dead? I am aware, yes, but it doesn't change anything. Hmm. Hmm. Surely if Tiffany is dead, it doesn't have to be confidential anymore. It's not her confidentiality that I'm worried about. What does that mean? Whatever you think it means. Okay, he knew something about Tiffany and Ken. Surely if Tiffany is dead, it doesn't- It's not her comp- What does that mean? Whatever you think it means. It's- it's something with Ken, isn't it? Well, thanks. I'll be going now. Right. Can Joey snoop around? Oh, we don't even have to leave. Okay, good. I was afraid it was gonna make us- um... So first, let's look at- Can we do anything here? Rachel told me that Tiffany was seeing a man named Ken. If there's a connection... Well, it's something that Sterling was aware Tiffany of. used to work for- Okay. This isn't helping. Uh, what else have we got here? Looks like a race car calendar. <laughs> they look like leaflets for this temp agency. Grab I one. don't think I need any of those. Alright. His name is Sterling, I assume. He looks honest enough, although he's not very friendly. Looks like it leads to more offices. This is STP, alright. All right, I'm going to just hang here a second. Joey? Now there's a logo that's overcompensating for something. <laughs> just saying. They look like leaflets advertising this office. Sterling here forgot to change the month. I ain't going to waste my breath. Oh, come on. The conversation, typical suit, pale from sitting in an office all day. Probably has an ulcer, too. All right. Can you get back here, Joey? You don't need to go back there. How do you know? There's got to be something useful here. Mm. Typical suit. Wait, come stand by his computer. Because you'll mess it up, right? Maybe. Whoa, this is far over as he'll go. Um. What do you want me to do? Yeah, blow on it. Not sure what blowing on. Not sure what. Leaflets? Not Anything? sure. We could always go back and talk to Tiffany. Hmm. Alright. We'll try it. You're up, Joey. Stay close to the door, Red. After you. So, Tiff. Hello again. What? Well, can you tell me about Sterling? I heard you worked for Sterling. Well, oh, those jerks. Jerks? They fired me, terminated my contract, for no reason. That seems unlikely. Sorry to hear that. Whatever. It's not like there aren't other temp agencies. So, about this Ken. So, tell me about Ken. Ken? He's wonderful. Is he now? Wow. He's... I can't begin to explain. Try me. He... Wait. What? Not you too. What? Huh? Why is everyone against us? I don't understand. Everyone's against you? I'd like to understand. How about you tell me about it? Just go away. Mm. Oh, come on. I'd like to talk to Ken. You think you could introduce me? 
Why? So you can tell him more lies about me? What are you talking about lies about I you? I don't think so. Why do you think Sterling fired you? I don't know. It's run by an emotionless sleaze bag. I never liked him. Well, we know she was fired, so maybe we can try talking to him something about that. Well, let's go back to Sterling. Well, see. Yeah. Okay. You Joy. Out the door, please. Thank you. Okay. Sterling? Hi again. Yes? So... I know you terminated Tiffany's contract. Could you tell me why? Look, we had a serious complaint and had to let her go. That's all I can say. What was the complaint? You can't tell me who made the complaint. Absolutely not. Well, why? Why the secrecy? Surely Tiffany won't mind. She's dead. Look, whatever happened, happened at the client's office. And I like to keep my clients. Agencies like mine are struggling to stay in business. People just aren't hiring temps like they used to. So if it's all the same, I'm keeping my mouth shut. It's not all the same. What about his reputation? So you'd say your reputation is important? Of course it's important. Without it, who would do business with us? Hmm. So you'd say your rep- Of course it's important. That feels like that should be going somewhere. But it's not. There must be something I'm missing. Hmm. Surely if Tiffany- It's not her- What is that? Whatever you- th So, what can- If you want to know- mm. Surely if- It's not- What is- th Whatever you- Okay. Well, thank- Right. There's gotta be something about his reputation. Let's Google him. Sterling. Agency. I'm- I'm shift- I'm a- Kathy seeing my piece because then it doesn't mess up with my recording. That's just my, uh- hotkey to record is key, but if I shift when I hit the key, then it doesn't trigger it on and off. Okay. I know, I could just bind it to a different key, but this works for me. Uh, let's... I don't know, maybe we can talk to Tiffany something about the reputation? Stay close to the door. Alright. Hello Tiff again. What? Mm, nope, because it's not an option in the notes. Well, this isn't going to gain us anything. About the I, I, so you no you can't. Why are you just? All right. Well. Yeah. Okay. Joy. Is there anything I can combine here? Can we convince him with our press pass? It's expired. I don't think it'll do. Alright, let's... I might try it anyhow. No, I don't... I don't think... No, Sterling and Tiffany. Tiffany used to work... Okay, none of this is helping. So, either something I need to look up, or... Maybe we can get him with the press pass. Or something I've missed. Like, I missed the mail. Okay. You might be interested in seeing this. The City Post? Is that who you're oh, working Oh, reputation. For? Yes. The biggest paper in the city. Maybe you can be more forthcoming now. No, doesn't change a thing. Confidential is confidential. You just made doubly sure that I won't say anything. Oh. Well. I've already shown it to him. Come on. Hi again. Yes. Oh, this is crappy. We're gonna have to do it. Well, I'm afraid that I have no choice but to end my article with you. Huh? What do you mean? An investigation is like following links in a chain, and you're the last link. Is this supposed to be a threat? I've told you absolutely nothing. Exactly. Oh, don't worry. I'll just write the truth about how you fired her and then refused to comment on her tragic death in the City Post, read by millions. That should do wonders for your reputation, don't you think? Why are you harassing me? Surely there are other leads you could follow. Maybe, Not really. But I'm on a deadline. It's a shame that I don't have someone else to harass instead. Maybe then I could avoid mentioning this place entirely. This is blackmail. It is. Fine. The man you want is Ken Sharp of Sharp Sound. Ken Sharp, now just get huh? out of here. Alright, will do. 
Ooh, and no going back. Okay, well, we want Ken Sharp, so let's pop by at the cafe, look him up. All right, Mr. Ken. Sharp sound. There we go. 223 West 44. 44th Street. Floor. Kind of sharp and Cecil sharp. Let's go check it out. It says sharp sound. Okay, what do we got over here? It says Gal Friday Publishing. Becca, I found your phone. I've got it in my desk drawer. Swing by when you get a chance and I'll give it back to you, Ken. Wait, where did he find it? Oh, he's got it in his drawer. It doesn't say where he found it. Okay. Locked. Not surprising. Hmm, stairs or elevator, huh? It's the door to the stairwell. I'm not walking down three <laughs> flights of stairs. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, uh, what's Joey think of all this stuff? Oh, there's a plant Give too. the place a bit of color, I'll give it that. It says sharp sound. Looks like the door to a stairwell. Ooh, Joey will Just a stairwell. Oh. It says Gal Friday Publishing. The sign on the door says... Nothing interesting in there. All right. Nice. You think that's real? I bet that's real. Go touch it. I'm not stealing the plant. All right. To sharp sound. Come on in. Hi, are you Ken Sharp? I sure am. What can I do for you, Miss? Blackwell. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Nah. The midnight oil could wait. What's up? I'm well. helping out the city post with an article. I was hoping I could ask you some questions. The newspaper. Sure. Ask away. All right. Uh, we'll start with your business. So, what can you tell me about this place? This place? We're an audio studio. You need any voiceover, music, or sound design? Then we're your guys. All right. Uh, right down the list. Not that he cares about a lot of these things, but... Do you ever go up to the High Line? That just opened up, right? Haven't been able to get up there yet. Do you know anyone named Gavin? Hmm, can't say that I do, no. She's the important one, we'll st skip her for now. Do you ever deal with the temp agency called Sterling? Yeah, I use them to hire temps sometimes, when things get busy. Are you using them now? Not at the moment, things are pretty slow. Alright. Do you know anyone named Elaine Appleton? Hmm, can't say that I do, no. Do you know anything about a nightclub called Munrays? <laughs> My nightclub days are long gone. I just help make the music now. So, tell me about yourself. Not much to say. What you see is what you get. All right. Tiffany. I was hoping to talk to you about Tiffany. Tiffany? Walters. She used to work for you as a temp. Did she? I'm afraid we've gone through quite a few temps. Yeah, I'll bet he has. So, uh, I'm sorry. She might have worked for us, but I don't remember her. Well, she certainly remembers you. What, was- is the relationship all in her head? Oh, come Are on. Are you sure you don't remember anyone named Tiffany? Positive. Sorry, I can't help you. Mm. Okay, so... Well, we'll start Are here. you sure you don't remember a Tiffany Walters? I told you. I don't remember anyone named Tiffany Walters. He's getting irritated. We keep asking the same thing. Um, I spoke to a guy from Sterling. He confirmed she worked here. For all I know, he might be right. But I don't remember her. Like I said, we go through a lot of temps here. All right, uh, but what about the complaint? You filed a complaint with Sterling about Tiffany. You don't remember that? Yeah. Have you ever worked with temps? Some are all right, but others? Well, there's a reason why they are temping. Well. So sure. I've made my share of complaints, but can I remember any specific one? No. Hmm. Uh, but she was all, like, totally really in love with you and told her friends that... Were you ever in a relationship with anyone named Tiffany? Miss Blackwell, was it? I have a wife, and two kids, and none of them are named Tiffany. 
I'm just following a lead. I was told that Tiffany was involved with someone named Ken. Well, it wasn't me. See, this is interesting, because if it were something that was, like, all in her head, like she, I don't know, some kind of stalker or something, and came up with this imaginary relationship, then I could see him making a complaint about that. Like, she's kind of crazy, you need to get her out of here, she's obsessed with me. But he doesn't remember anything? Well, thanks. See you around. Joey, you're up. He can go in, right? I'm going to go in and snoop yes. around. You sit tight. Hey, hey. <laughs> nice Nothing to say about that, Joey? Come on. Framed Polaroid. What do we have here? Oh, there's a piano man. Leads to a back room. Go in there. Nothing important back there. All right, what else have we got here? I couldn't even begin <laughs> to guess what this stuff is for. Okay, fair point, fair point. He looks pretty intent on, well, whatever the hell he's actually doing. <laughs> There's nothing I could say to him other than his suit needs to be let out a few inches. Oh, Joey. Is there anything else in here? No, the screen's not moving. Up. Oh. It's a set of drawers. What's in there? <sighs> I can barely make anything out in here. Well, there's a black thing. He doesn't know what a calculator is. It's kind of black? I have <laughs> no idea what it is. I can't see a thing. It looks like a letter. I can't make out what it says. We've got to get another glow-in-the-dark card in here. Okay. So. All right, Rosa. You've got to find a way to mess with that drawer. Come on in. Don't just talk to him, okay? Look around. That's an interesting picture up there. I don't recognize the band. Well, you wouldn't. That was my dad's group. They haven't been together since the 60s. Oh, hey! What happened to them? They died. Sharp! They died, I think. Oh my gosh, Why? Sharp, of course. He never talked about it much. Sharp, Cecil Sharp, and then Ken Sharp. Yeah, he's, he's Cecil's son. Oh, that's why. Okay. I like that. Who's that man in the photograph? His dad. Him? Uh, that's my dad. He and I started this place um, about 20 years ago. He's retired now, but he pops his head in sometimes. Ugh. Are you sure you- I told you. This drawer, Rosa, the drawer. Are you sure- I Oops, I didn't mean to click that. I meant to check this. There's nothing here either. Well, thanks. See you around. Okay, maybe there's something Joey can do then. There's got to be a way to read that letter. I'm going to go in and... Alright. Oh, we can't blow on it? It's kind of... It's... 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 Okay, okay. It looks like a let... It looks like a let... Ugh. Okay. Not sure what blow. Whoa. Feels like the AC kicked in. But did that do anything? Whoa. No. Not sure what. <sighs> There's gotta Not be sure something what... special with that letter. Not sure what. Not sure. We can't blow on anything in here, so how's he going to interact with it? And Rosa can't interact with anything in this room. She's just stuck in conversation. Let's go back and talk to Tiffany. Wait, wait, wait. I found your phone. That's not a, it's, it's not a calculator, it's a phone. Oh my goodness, Lavinia, come on. Alright, what was this, Gal Friday Publishing? So, uh... There we go. Owned by Rebecca Whitaker. There's her phone.
I'm gonna go in and snow. Okay, and it should light it up so we can take a look at this letter. And last night was the most magical night of my life. I never knew I could feel this way. Looks like I'll be dreaming of you tonight, and Tiffany. It's signed, Tiffany. Sounds like our boy Ken knew Tiffany after all. For sure. It looks like one of those plastic squares Red calls a phone. Yep, I can clearly see now that it's a phone. Okay. Time to confront this fella. Come on in. Alright, bad news, Ken. You're not gonna like this conversation. So, uh... So, tell me, Ken. Why do you have a letter from Tiffany in your desk? What? <laughs> oh, what is this? Are you sneaking in here while I'm not around? Is that it? Maybe I'm just psychic. Yeah? Well, maybe I'll just call the police. And tell him what? I just want to find out what happened to Tiffany. Look, whatever happened to her, it had nothing to do with me. Maybe you're right. But maybe you can tell me what happened so I can decide for myself? You're a real piece of work. Fine. Go on. Ask what you want. Alright, so what was the deal between you and her? So, tell me about Tiffany. Look, you breathe a word of this, and I'll have the police on you so fast it'll make your head spin. For what? Are sealed. Alright. Yes, I knew Tiffany. You probably guessed that we were involved. Oh. I gathered that. I was and you have late. a wife and two we kids. We were doing spots for a new TV commercial, and she volunteered to help out. I thought she just wanted the overtime, but turns out she wanted something else. Well, you went along with it, too. So she came on to you? Yeah. She wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah. Look, I'm a married guy with two kids. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't help myself. It was like a drug. Whatever. Of Lame course, excuses. the girl was completely crazy. I should have noticed that right off. Shh. All right. What do you mean, crazy? Although, why did you keep the why letter? Why do you keep the letter if the relationship is over? I don't know. Nostalgia, maybe? It was nice at the beginning. She was crazy, but she saw something in me. I suppose I still want to hold on to that. I... Especially now that she's, you know, gone. This guy's a scumbag. Oh, uh, well, if... Whatever's going on in his relationship, if the marriage is failing in some way, then... Divorce her? And then move on and have relationships with other people. I mean, I guess I'm making assumptions here. Uh, well, but it seems fair. If it were an open relationship, then... Then I think he would have said something. Instead, he's making it sound like this was definitely a secretive kind of thing. Not on the up and up. So, I, the whole thing seems really scummy to me. He cheated on his wife with this woman that he de then deems crazy. Like, he's just writing her off while she was crazy. But then he's keeping this letter. Like, there's the evidence right there that his wife... Like, what is... What is even your motivation here, Ken? What are you doing, you fool? Crazy? How so? My god, the girl was obsessed. Showing up at the office at all hours, stalking me, calling my house at night. Huh? She kept saying we were destined to be together. That it was fate. Even when I tried to break it off, she wouldn't take no for an answer. God, what a nightmare. I should have broken it off long before I did. He should have. Oh, what a scumbag. So she got over attached to him. Wouldn't back off. He didn't like it. Although he was part of this thing in the first place. And then he gets her fired. He makes a complaint to the temp agency about her and gets her fired. Like, wow. Wow. So you did end things with her. God, yes. I had to. Even if I wasn't Morally, a you should have. Well, it was a complete head case. Talking about the stars and fate and destiny. She even started calling me Turtle Dove. What a nightmare. Turtle Dove? So I buckled down and ended it. And she didn't take it well. I had to get a restraining order put on her. I've learned my lesson. That's for sure. No more temps. And definitely no more affairs. My life is with my wife and family. Well, that's good. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What a total embarrassment she was. What? You're just as- okay, she took it to extreme, but you're an embarrassment as well. Takes- takes two to cheat, buddy. Alright. Well, thanks. See you around. Okay, let's go talk to Tiff. Who 
I don't really feel a lot of sympathy for it. I mean, she got involved with a mar married man. That's pretty crappy, too, but... Alright, Joey, you're up. Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After right. you, Joey. Hello again. What? Well... So... Look, you're gonna have to face facts. Ken is through with you. You're lying. Nope. Deep, Deep down, down, he still loves me. He just can't admit it. Tiff, let go. He told me himself. I don't believe you. Why do you think Sterling fired you? I don't know. It's run by an emotionless sleaze bag. I never liked him. Mm. This did not work as Look, I hoped. You're gonna have your deep he told I don't Ah. You called Ken your turtle dove, right? That's private. How did you know about that? Talk to him. He told me himself. All this mooning? He thinks it's pathetic. He what? Not so much pathetic it's as over, creepy. Kid. You want my advice? Forget about him and get on with your Well, you need to get over <laughs> him is all I'm saying. I no. I need to hear it from him. Just one more time. From him. Hey, wait a sec. Are we gonna meet in the hallway? Let me uh. guess. That was Tiffany. Why didn't you stop her? Because I can't touch ghosts? <laughs> right. Forget it. Let's just get after her. Okay, so she's gonna come here. Please don't do this. Come on in. Hey there. So, uh -huh. so you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. Like I told you, I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What? Sorry, Tiff. What a total embarrassment she was. Ouch. Embarrassment? Ken, you don't mean that. Do you mean that? Of course I do. With that squeaky, lovey-dovey voice and the way she'd throw herself at me in public. I thought you liked it. You'd think a guy would like that kind of attention, but she was so needy and desperate about it. Desperate? I was not desperate. It was fate. She said we were destined to be together, that it was fate. I don't believe what I'm hearing. Wow. We're supposed to be together. Gavin said so. I don't know why I didn't end it right then and there. But like an idiot, I just kept being reeled back in. I gave up everything for you. I gave up... I gave up my life for you. She thought I'd give up my entire life for her, but that was crazy. I only hope she found some happiness before she died. Yeah. Died? Died? Am I dead to you? Is that it? I... I can't even look at you. I've got to get out of here. I need air. Whoa. Did you feel that? Feels like the AC kicked in. Anyway, take my advice. You meet a guy you like, don't smother him. He'll just run away. I'll keep that in mind. Wow, this well, is... Well, I think that's everything. Thanks again, Ken. Sure. You know, feels kind of good to talk about it. And I am... Uh, well, I hope you'll be discreet about it. I'm not really Don't interested worry. in helping you feel better, Ken. The way he talked about her is so demeaning. Like, wow, I'm a stranger and you're going to go on about how she was an embarrassment to you. And she was uh, details about how she would throw herself at you and say it was fake. Like, if you want to if you want to say, you know, she honestly freaked me out and went overboard. That's one thing. But the way he's talking about her is really, really nasty. Man. OK, Joey. Yeah, I'm on the right one. Tiffany? You think I'm pathetic, don't you? No. Oh, no. Not at all. Very I misguided. Do. Why but... did I act like such a love-struck little girl? I don't know. We all act stupid sometimes. Not like this. I couldn't stop myself. Why? Just because Gavin said we should be together? Gavin? Is that the mm. psychic who told you to stick with Ken? Yeah. And I believed every last word. Why would I believe something so stupid? Ken was all I thought about. When he told me it was over, I was just angry I couldn't be with him. Gavin told me not to worry. That it was destiny. That we'd be together. It took me over. I wouldn't get out of bed. I just... stopped. I'm sorry. I need to get out of here. How do I get out of here? Well... So this is interesting, because... 
I mean, she, it sounded like she was just over the top about Ken on her own, and maybe partly she was, but then I also have to wonder too, like now she's saying, this was so stupid, why was I so hung up in this? And it could be like Joey said, everybody does stupid things sometimes. But I have to wonder too if it was more some kind of control Gavin has over her and that he had over Jamie too that made him just latch onto these ideas that aren't really good ideas and they're not really interested in, but somehow he's overpowering their desires so that they're pursuing these things anyhow. Hmm. Hey Tiff, I got something for you. What is it? It's something to help you on your way. Just one minute. Look at him, working at his desk like nothing's happened. I'm ready. All right, here we go. It feels good. The light, I mean. It feels good. Just head towards it. That's all you need to do. It feels like... It feels like Gavin. What? Isn't that strange? Yeah. Believing his words, accepting the lie, it felt good. Wonderful. I want to hate him, but I can't. It's like it doesn't matter. We'll get to the bottom of this. I promise. Do you know where we can find him? No. He'd come over to my place. He'd talk and... It all seemed so clear. That's all I can remember. It's all fading. You better go. Hmm. Thank you. I... I don't know what else to say. No need to thank us. It's what we do. Well, I guess this is it. Huh. She all taken care of? Yep. Yeah. I think she'll be alright. At least, I hope so. This makes no sense, Joey. Hey. Her death. It was so... pointless. Who said there had to be a point? She didn't even like Ken. Not really. Haven't you ever been in love? That's not what I mean. Yeah. You don't just die of a broken heart. Not literally. Maybe. Maybe not. But whoever this Gavin guy is, he put her up to it. I think we owe our friend Lisa another visit. We do indeed. But I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll confront Lisa about this death. There's nothing she can dodge now after that. That's two confirmed absolutely had to do with Gavin. Three really because Jeremy as well. So she's going to have to give us some kind of information from there. Hopefully we'll actually get to um, meet up with Gavin himself and see what this is all about.